Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion. We're going to be looking at the ASUS EFI BIOS utility for the ASUS P8 P67 Deluxe motherboard. At this time we are in easy mode. Easy mode basically shows you what time you have, date, your BIOS version, what motherboard you have, how much memory, etc. Your build date and what the speed of your CPU is. You can also look at the temperatures of your CPU and your motherboard, your voltage, and your CPU fan speed. Under system performance, you could set this manually through easy mode to power saving, normal, and ASUS optimal, which is basically an overclocked setting. On the bottom, you can set your boot priority, whether you want your hard drive or your DVD drive to boot up first or any other drive you might have in installed. Up on the top we go to the advanced menu and this will take you into your main page which basically has all the information for your motherboard, system date and time of course. Next we will look at AI tweaker. As you can see everything is set to normal or auto at this time. AI overclocking tuner set to auto there are three modes auto manual and XMP turbo ratio you could set that to by all cores or by by core itself where you cannot adjust in the operating system internal PLL voltage is set to auto there's three settings for that auto enabled and disabled memory frequency you could change your memory frequencies based on what type of memory you have I do have the EPU power saving mode set to disabled. You can enable that. OC tuner. OC tuner is basically a one step overclocking tuner. Click on that, your computer will reboot to a minimum of 4.3 uh, gigahertz. Your DRAM timing control and your CPU power management. CPU power management basically gives you the options to set your your multiplier, your Intel speed step technology turbo mode and you do have tur some turbo mode parameters which I normally keep at auto. Scrolling down, load line calibration. There are multiple settings for load line calibration, regular, medium, high, ultra high and extreme. VRM frequency at this time is set to auto, you could set that to manual. Once you set that to manual, you will be able to access your Digi VRM and fix your uh, VRM frequency mode. Phase control is set to standard at this time. Duty control, you can set it to T probe or extreme. Current CPU capacity capability, 100%. Then we go to our uh, CPU voltages. At this time, it's set to offset mode. You can set that to manual mode. Manual mode will allow you to adjust it by the voltage itself as per 1.5 volts, 1.4 volts, etc. In the offset mode, you're using tenths in numbers. I tend to try to stay away from that. I like to see the actual voltage that I'm using. Your DRAM voltage, VCCSA, VCCIO voltage, CPU PLL voltage, and PCH voltage. I normally don't don't touch them when I'm overclocking, uh, especially on this board. I found no benefits to changing the voltages when I do overclock. You have your DRAM reference data and your CPU spread spectrum. Under advanced mode we could go into our CPU configuration which gives you all your settings for your CPU ratio, hyper threading, active cores, your CPU ID maximum, turbo mode, C1E and your other C states. System agent configuration
PCH configuration. I have that enabled at this time. SATA configuration, here's where you can set your modes for SATA, ACHI, RAID, etc. USB configuration, I usually keep the defaults for that. Onboard devices, this is where you can set your HD audio controller, your front panel, your uh, USB controller, Bluetooth, Marvel storage controllers. This also has a J-Micron chip on it, which you can also set, enabled or disabled. Your LAN controller and the Intel LAN controller. And of course your serial port configuration. And this is your APN. Basically, this is for your power loss, etc. If you want to uh, change different settings to power on by your keyboard when it's in its sleep states or hibernation states. Your monitor monitors your fan, your temperatures, etc. You can change some profiles for your fans um, on how you would uh, like for them to, to run. Right now, I have it on standard. You can set it to silent, turbo, or manual. shows you your voltages that you're using at the present time. Anti-surge support, of course, I usually try to keep enabled at all times. Under your boot mem menu, you have your number lock state, your full screen logo. This time I do have it enabled. I normally run mine disabled. I like to see the post screens. Your boot option priorities and your boot overrides. Under your tools, you have the ASUS Easy Flash Utility, which basically gives you the, the option to flash, uh, flash your BIOS from, from a, US, uh, a USB drive or another type of drive in the BIOS itself. OC Profile Utility it allows you to store overclocking profiles. And this the SPD info gives you the SPD info on your memory itself. Once you have all your settings changed and set, click on save and reset changes and then reboot your computer. And that has been a look at the EFI BIOS for the ASUS P8 P67 Deluxe Motherboard. Thank you.